I'm Nadine Brandis, the author of Fox, Romanov, and the Out of Time series, and Romanov releases in four days! Oh my goodness, I can't believe that the time is actually here. I feel like I've been waiting for it forever. Now that it's here, I'm like, I don't think I'm ready. To celebrate, I've been doing a 10-day countdown over on my Instagram, sharing fun behind-the-scenes facts about the writing process for Romanov, or just the design process, or basically all things Romanov. And so today I thought it would be fun to do a video talking about the cover for Romanov and the process behind choosing it and how we ended up with this beautiful black gold foil magical beautifulness. I am author. I have words. So the way my publisher goes about designing covers is when I'm drafting up a story, they send me a form to fill out sharing all of the details of my story, sharing like the blurb, descriptions of characters, descriptions of items, themes in the book, color schemes, everything that you can possibly imagine I put into this form and then I also share what I picture the cover looking like or if I have any preferences. I also can share book covers that I like that I feel are good examples of what I would be looking for in a cover. So I compile all of that together in this form and I send it back to my publisher. They may not take anything from that form, but it gives the designer an idea of where I'm coming from, where the story's coming from. Personally, I never really have like this picture of what I want the cover to look like for my book because I know that it will never look exactly like what I'm picturing in my mind. And I've learned I'm creative with words. I'm not creative with visuals. Whenever I've gotten a cover and I've suggested changes and they make those changes, it looks awful. So I finally learned, no Nadine, you don't know what you're talking about. So with Romanov, first off, I got to see the cover before the book was even written. It was particularly scary because the cover was so beautiful that I was like, what if my book doesn't live up to this gorgeous cover? Because you know how it is when you see a beautiful book on the shelf and you really want the inside sides of that book to be just as awesome as the exterior and then you read it and it's not. I really didn't want my book to be like that. I wanted the cover and the story to be equally amazing, which of course every author wants that for their book, but I also know that my book isn't for everybody. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. So I get an email from my editor, Romanov cover exclamation point, and I feel sick to my stomach and I'm like, I don't think I want to open this email. Ooh, what am I hate it. Thankfully, my publisher does ask my opinion, but in the end, it is the publisher's decision which cover they end up going for. I've lucked out with all of my books. I mean, guys, this cover and this cover. There are no complaints from me. So I got the email from my editor. They presented me with two very, very different covers. One cover was the illustrated style, this one. It didn't look like this. I'll show you what it looked like. And then the other was more real life. They were both gorgeous. I would have been happy with either of them. And honestly, my editor and I were both at a stalemate. We were just looking at the covers and we didn't know which one to go with because they were so beautiful, but they were both totally different. So we actually had to enlist the help of some bookstagrammer friends of mine who deal with YA books all the time and I sent them confidentially both covers and asked them which one drew their eye the most. And honestly across the board everybody was pretty split down the middle. They loved them both. So in the end I just had to make a decision and I went with the illustrated version. So the first cover that was sent to me of this illustrated version of Romanov was ta -da! this lovely red and yellow piece, which when I first saw it, I gasped out loud. I just loved it right away. However, there are a lot of things that go into making a good cover. Even though I loved the design up close, I had to step back and put on my marketing brain and think about, okay, how is this cover going to promote my book? Yes, it's beautiful up front, but when it's really far away on a shelf, it just looks like a red book. So what that means is that when people are walking through the bookstore and they're scanning the shelves that are way over there, all they're gonna see is a little red square. That's not gonna make them go look at it. Whereas with something like Fox, 
you see a creepy mask staring you down from far away, just saying, come to me, pick me up. I want to be read by you. I want to own your soul. Anyway, I have to take into account what we call the 10 foot rule. And that is seeing if the cover draws the eye and draws readers to it from 10 feet away. But it's also important for online retail sites like Amazon, because when you're looking at a cover on Amazon, it's a tiny little thumbnail. And when you shrink down this red cover, it's just a blank red cover. So I expressed my concerns about the color scheme. And I got some examples from online of the color schemes that I was looking for that are taken from some traditional Russian dishes. And I sent that on to the cover designer. And then we got this which I liked so much more. But my editor and I talked and we both agreed that the red still just didn't pop the way that we wanted it to. So another option that the cover designer sent us was the black one. <laughs> so you'll notice that this one is a lot more yellow. And after some final little tweaks, we ended up with this cover that has a lot more white. And that makes the swirls pop more, it makes the gold foil stand out more, and it was just perfect. Now the last little thing that we did add was a hook on the cover. Not even royal blood can stop bullets. That was my idea. Because I thought that would look really cool on the cover, and all of the cool books have that hook on the cover. Care of all. Remember, it's only a game. The selection. 35 girls, one crown, the competition of a lifetime. Divergent. One choice can transform you. I just really wanted one of those on my cover, and I felt like it was kind of a cool saying. So after running it by my editor, we got it. I won. Ah, not even royal blood can stop bullets. So that in a nutshell is how I ended up with the Romanov cover. And you can get your copy pretty much wherever books are sold within the next four days. Or you can pre-order. Pre-order links are all down below. What draws your eye to a book cover? What are things that you tend to gravitate toward? And do you tend to like the illustrated book covers? I love them, but I know that not everybody does. I would love to hear your thoughts on all things book covers down below in the comments, so be sure to let me know. If you want to keep up on my videos where I talk writing, publishing, and all of the bookish things, please click subscribe or the little bell icon that gives you an email alert every time I post a new video. So with that, tally ho!